Hey guys, welcome back and today uh, we're going to be uh, creating a game, a simple game, not not that much of a cool game, so just a, a very simple basic game. So what we have to do first is click on this thing and then go on to Blender game, but it's only if you want to. I usually do it because I'm creating a game, so okay, now let's... Uh, okay uh, let's click on this little thing here and go on to logic in here okay so we'll see that that comes up uh, and what we have to do now is uh, wait first uh, let me just go into the 3d view and just, is it? okay yeah right here uh, game logic I'm sorry uh, it's just if you click it here, it's that comes in. We don't want that to happen. So uh, let's just click on. Let's go back to our 3D view and click on this thing up here, and then click on Game Logic. Okay. So now, <coughs> sorry. So now, all you have to do is uh, let's say we wanted this cube to move. Wait, uh, this is front view, so we wanted it to move from here going straight. So, what we have to do first is let's just bring this down, click on edge sensor, then click on keyboard, then we go here, and then uh, we can make it motion. So, now we can connect these two and then let's just name this up arrow or something like that uh, a r r o w okay and then click on this thing here it says key so click it then it says press a key so uh, I'll just click the up arrow so uh, that it moves front so if you uh, go right here you'll see all this stuff here so one is for the x axis and then the second one is for the y axis and then the third one is on the uh, z axis yeah that's what it says okay so uh, so now what we're gonna do is so up here click one so that you know that this side is the front view so it's basically can go that side up there so uh, we're gonna make it go straight there so this axis is the y axis so what we're gonna do is come here on the y axis so this one is for location this one for rotation so uh, what we're gonna do is go on the location and then click on this arrow right here just once and then it goes up to point 10 uh, so now if we come up here and click P to play and then you click the up arrow it moves up it just keeps on moving up so uh, let's just move up here and then click 7 no not 7 I mean uh, P to play now we, if I click the up arrow it just keeps on moving and to get out of it you just click ESC escape so uh, now since we have done one that can uh, move it front we go on to the second one and the second one is also going to be a keyboard so let's just click on this arrow to minimize them and then click on the add sensor and then click on keyboard and you click on add actuator and click on the motion and we're just gonna add I don't know two more I think so one and uh, one and one and one okay so since that that's done we can uh, click on key and then this one we're gonna make it I'm gonna make it move right so I'll just click the right arrow key and then I just join these two together <coughs> and that just brings up 
a what's it called a controller so uh, you can change it to anything you want but I'll just keep it to end and now I'm gonna make it move right so that's on the x-axis so I'm just gonna go to the x-axis and click on one there okay so let's click P so up right okay that's going how I want it to so now uh, we can minimize these two and click on the key and uh, I'll click on the left arrow key and then I just join these together and then left arrow is going <coughs> uh, left on the uh, x-axis which is just that side so instead of putting this up we put it down so like that so it becomes negative 0.10 so uh, now what we can do is just spin my these and the last one is going to be to go back so uh, let's put it down arrow key and then down arrow is going back on the y axis so the y just click on the other one which is on the left side and uh, it becomes negative 0.10 so now we can just connect these two and uh, what we're going to do is okay let's click p here to play and then we just go up back side side back up so it uh, moves how we want it to move so uh, yeah that's basically it for now thank you for watching